Okay, lately I have been seeing a lot of my friends complaining about Firefox crashing, um, Shockwave player crashing, and Adobe player needs to be updated. Well, I'm going to show you how to fix Firefox. Google Chrome is a little different, but Firefox, this is the best way to do it. I'll put the link below this video, but I just type in Firefox.com and it takes you straight here. This is their their actual domain. I notice it says uh, Mozilla.org. I don't know if you have to type in the rest, but I just type in Firefox.com. I'll put this link below the video. And notice if you already have Firefox, as you can see here, I already do. Just click Refresh Firefox right there. And then click right there. And it will close. And it, I just did this earlier, so it shouldn't take long. And then when it's done, it'll reopen. And it so tells you right there, success. Your add-ons and customization have been removed, and your browser settings have been restored to their defaults. If this does not fix the issue, you can click there. I'm going to click restore all tabs so I can continue this video. Alright, then go up here click on those three bars go down to options click there and right here is where you would put your home page and me I like Facebook facebook.com and for search now this is very important click up here where it says search and your best bet is to remove all this junk. Yahoo just loads on all kinds of adware and malware. It's, unless you like Yahoo, I would just plain remove it. I don't like it at all. So you click there and highlight it and then go down here and click remove. And I like Google for my only search. It does just wonderful for me. So don't click on that at all. Click on the one below it. And then see duck duck go. I mean who does that? <laughs> and just keep clicking remove, 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 and remove. Now I'm stuck with just Google as you can see right here. Okay? So now when I click on it, it's going to go to Facebook. Alright. After you get that installed, everything is repaired. Click over here. And I'm telling you, this is the best right here. Your Shockwave player and your Adobe Flash player, this will install it in just seconds. It's just amazing. The correct version for every browser that you have, and it, it just does it automatically. Because they have to match. They, have, they really do have to match. Okay, so here's the... This is from the recommended. Now, here's the one that you want, the installer. I already have it, but we'll see what it... Well, no. Anyway, you just click here and then you save the file and if it's Firefox you click here and you install it. I'm probably pretty sure you can you know how to do that part. Okay so let me close all tabs and open up UBK because I already have it. Now down here at the bottom you click on system repair and you this will install and run all of these. Also uh, ADW Cleaner will remove adware, all the, the browser hijackers and stuff. You can run this also. You can put a check mark on there and do a browser cleanup. It'll show you which extensions you have, if there's any that you don't like in any of your browsers. This searches all your browsers. But right for now, I'm going to show you this one right here. Go down to right here install and update flash player and shockwave player essential installs and updates right right here these two now watch what happens it will work its way through every browser notice I got Google Chrome and Firefox and of course Internet Explorer now I already have the correct version in here I'm just letting it run through see there's flash ActiveX for IE for Internet Explorer, now Firefox, and I think Chrome uses something different now. It still uses it too. Flash for Chrome, 
just it's just so important to have the, the correct versions installed for each browser and by the way this here does so much more you can update Java your, your fix it center um, if you have any icons that are looking kind of goofy it, it'll refresh your icon cache okay now it's done with that now it's going to install and update shockwave player I mean it just does it automatically it, well if you put a check mark here where it says unintended I should have put that in there right here where I have my thing okay it is done that fast now let's go look and make sure control panel and here's Flash Player. I'm going to right click on it and open it. Click on Updates. And as you can see here, now the ActiveX version is just like 0.1 difference, I noticed. But the other two have to match. They just absolutely have to match. I noticed just recently that the, the ActiveX version is a little different. But as you can see you have all three of them now that will make all your games play better all your videos play better it's just extremely important all right Let's see here and it goes to Facebook you will have to change this to the size here you can click right there and then click on uh, still loading up there we go you can make it bigger all right. Thank you guys very much for watching. Please subscribe. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know if it helped. Let me know if it didn't. Thanks for watching.